All right, so something I got in the mail today. Is the mat for the back so that way Daisy can ride back here so she doesn't feel like she's gonna fall out of the Jeep but I'm gonna remove the soft top completely uh, so that way she can get in and out of the back end without trying to navigate the front uh, it's a t30 right here uh, four screws total two on this side two on the other um, so I'm just going to remove those. Couldn't find my utility knife. Well, it's not. Could have probably almost opened it. It went all the way up, so and the reason it only comes up to here is because uh, of the back seat. So when the back seat is up, it's going to actually be up here. But when it's folded, it's going to be folded probably into here. So they make it so that way I don't like that but it's better than nothing I suppose the only issue is the seat belt now because on Because on blue, I don't plan on putting that part of the seat belt in. Although I kept the option, I don't think I did POR 15 down the hole. Oh, I, uh, I didn't, but I, I plan on bedlining that, but you can easily just thread it out. But see, I took it out. And eventually that mat's gonna go into here but then that runs in. Actually, I might as well just cut it. Because I'm running into the issue of... Because I don't plan on putting the seat in here ever. So I took the um, brackets completely off on this thing. Which I would do if I bed lining it anyways. But I don't plan on putting it back. Ever. Um, original plan was... To build a platform which i might end up doing anyways building a platform that goes up here butts up against this so you can lock things underneath and then it goes all the way up to where the seats are and then daisy can get up on there um and then when top down i was thinking of getting that cargo netting around so she can't fall out um, and then I don't have to secure her to the roll cage, the roll bar. Anyways, so this is, uh, that bracket. I don't know why it's crooked, but 
So we're going to have to cut. I don't know. Let me think about this. Alright, so what I ended up doing was just taking the seatbelt bracket off. Um, there's still a lot of play in this, okay? Uh, Quadratech could have added another inch to either side. There's a lot of play in it. It makes me wonder if this isn't made for if this isn't made for the YJ as well. Um, and also, I'd like to see them extend this further for those of us who take the back seat out. I wonder if they have that. I'll have to look into it. But anyways, I like it, you know. But we'll see how Daisy does with it. I think she's still going to slide around back here a little bit. So we'll see. Um, I mentioned couple days ago on my Jeep Monkey channel about the rust on this back plate right here uh, as you can see it's it's worse than um, the other one the other one had a little bit of rust right here a little bit very little in the corner this actually looks good right here but over there that had rust a little bit of rust in the corner but not that bad But the door is completely crap. The back door. Which kind of sucks. So if I ever want to make a trailer out of the back of this tub, that's not going to work. So, and of course, there's that fold down. That would be cool. Yeah. Anyways, um, whereas the door on blue. Uh, no rust at all on it. Uh, hinges are crap. In fact, I'm having a devil of a time getting the hinges off. I finally got them off of Blue herself. Um, yeah. So, the problem is these brackets right here wouldn't, I don't know, the thread locker they put on them was uh pretty tough although these hinges have been switched out for something crappy i don't like these hinges right here but the problem is you get an actual mopar hinges which are look just like those probably and uh, they're pricey and they sell it by the each so i have to save a little bit of capital for that one but anyways yeah Y'all ever wonder what Daisy does when I'm doing all this? She's always nearby though. See? Just here, chilling out in the shade. Right, Daisy? Yeah. <laughs> She's a good dog. Alright, anyways, let me clean up my box. Put my tools away. And then we'll move on to the next project.